what are ocean currents and how are they formed large scale movements of water in the ocean in a definite direction are called ocean currents ocean currents are like rivers in the oceans thousands of kilometers in length and sometimes 200 kilometers wide most currents have speeds less than or equal to 5 knots the distance in the sea and in the ocean is measured in knots and not in kilometers or meters or miles if the mass of water moving on the surface of the ocean is broad slow and shallow it is termed as drift its speed is less than 0.5 knots there are two kinds of currents warm currents and cold currents warm currents that originate near the equator and flow towards the poles cold currents that originate in the high latitudes and flow towards the equator the pattern of ocean currents the pattern of oceanic circulation is produced by the interaction of a number of factors they are planetary winds variation in sea water temperatures variation in water salinity and rotation of the earth planetary winds planetary winds are important factor which influence ocean currents the planetary winds blow continuously in a particular direction and drag the surface water due to the force of friction this leads to the formation of ocean currents most of the ocean currents of the world follow the direction of prevailing or planetary winds for example equatorial currents flow westwards under the influence of northeast and southeast trade winds the north atlantic drift in the atlantic and the north pacific current is the pacific move in northeast direction under the influence of westerlies variation in sea water temperatures these are marked variations in the horizontal and vertical distribution of temperature of the oceans the temperatures are higher at the equator than at the poles thus in the equatorial region the density of water decreases due to high temperature and more rainfall as a result of this the lighter water from equatorial region moves towards the colder and denser waters of the polar areas variation in water salinity the amount of salt contained in sea water does not does vary from one part of the ocean to another water with high salinity is denser than that with lower amounts of salt the higher salinity of water tends to subside and moves below water of low salinity ocean currents on the water surface are generated from the areas of less salinity to the areas of high salinity there is marked variation in the salinity of the atlantic ocean and the mediterranean sea because of this variation the ocean currents flow from the atlantic ocean to the mediterranean sea similar ocean currents may be observed between the indian ocean and the red sea via bab al mandab an incidental pattern is found in the baltic sea and the north sea atlantic ocean the peru current may also be cited as an example of a current which has its origin because of the variation in the density of water rotation of earth 
the earth rotates on its axis from west to east. This rot rotation results in the genesis of deflective force or Coriolis force which deflects the general direction of oceanic current. For example, the ocean currents flowing in the northern hemisphere are deflected to the right and in the southern hemisphere to the left. Currents of the Atlantic Ocean Gulf Stream The Gulf Stream is the largest of the western boundary currents of the North Atlantic Ocean. This is a warm current and originates in the Gulf of Mexico. The current flows northwards along the east coast of North America. Near Newfoundland, its water mixes with that of the cold water current of Labrador, which results in the formation of dense fog. Here, it comes under the influence of the westerly winds and flows northeastwards as North Atlantic Drift. Its warm waters keeps the Navarjan coast ice-free even during winters. Labrador Current It is a cold water current which flows southwards from the Arctic Ocean along the coast of Canada. The current merges with the Gulf Stream near Newfoundland. As the current originates from the Arctic Ocean, it brings down huge icebergs from the Arctic Ocean to the eastern coast of Canada. Bengula Current It is a cold current which originates in the Antarctic Ocean and flows along the coast of Southwest Africa, generally between Cape Town and 18 degrees south. The current cools the western coast of South Africa and Nambia. The desert of Kalahari is largely a result of this current as it helps in reducing the relative humidity of the eastward moving warm and moist air masses. Currents of the Pacific Ocean North and South Equatorial Currents The North Equatorial Current originates in the western coast of Mexico and flows in westerly direction. It reaches Philippines after traveling 7,500 nautical miles. After reaching the coast of Philippines under the impact of Coralis force, it takes northerly direction. The South Equatorial Current originates to the west of Peru at 10 degrees south latitude. It is the one of the strongest currents. The Oyo Shio Current or the Curil Current. This is a cold current originating in the Arctic Ocean. The waters of the Oyoshio current originates in the Arctic Ocean and flows southwest via the Bering Sea, passing through the Bering Strait and transporting cold water from the Arctic Ocean into the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Okhotsk. The current has an important impact on the climate of Russia, Far East. The water of Oyashio current form probably the richest fishery. The current makes the west coast of Japan and the coast of Asian mainland severely cold in winter. Kurushio current It is a warm current in the Pacific. Kurosho means the black stream in Japanese, named after the deep ultramarine color of the high salinity water. It is a fast oceanic current. The heat which is carried by the current has an effect on climate of the adjacent land areas. It makes the winter of eastern Japan milder and keeps the coast free from ice. It has a warming effect on the coast of Alaska and western Canada. North Atlantic Drift it is a warm oceanic current. It prevails under the influence of westerly winds. It is section of the Gulf Stream. 
the North Atlantic Current breaks up into two branches on reaching the eastern part of Pacific Ocean. The main current, continuing as the North Atlantic Drift, reaches the British Isles from where it flows along the way coast of Norway as the Navarin Current and enters the Arctic Ocean. Navarjian Current is very important as it keeps oceans to the north of Norway partly free from ice and also moderates the extreme of climate. It is because of this current Russia is able to move cargo in summers through Arctic Ocean. North Atlantic Drift are responsible for moderating climate of Western Europe so that winters are less cold than would otherwise be expected at this latitude. Without the warm North Atlantic Drift, the UK and other places in Europe would be as cold as Canada at the same latitude. Currents of the Indian Ocean The currents of Indian Ocean are closely controlled by the seasonal southwest and northeast monsoons. Southwest monsoon currents In the summer season, in the northern part of Indian Ocean, the monsoon winds blow from southwest to northeast. As the current are closely associated with winds, the ocean currents follow the general direction of summer monsoon. Northeast monsoon currents. It is in the winter season the monsoon winds blow from northeast to southwest, influenced by the direction of the wind. The ocean currents flow from northeast to southwest.